An authorized housing society is dominate the landscape of Islamabad. Of the 200 housing societies in Islamabad, only 22 are legal and 140 have never approached Capital Development Authority for necessary approvals. Estimates suggest that about 90% of the area in zones 2, 4 and 5 is not under the control of CDA. These numbers are staggering. Why has a city once considered the poster child of a planned capital fall into such ignominy? The sole responsibility for a phased and planned development of Islamabad was conferred upon the CDA under the Capital Development Ordinance 1960. Unfortunately, the CDA remains a government bureaucracy with an outmoded plan, incapable of understanding the appeal of Islamabad for migration. It restricted housing to two floors, refusing to let existing housing stock convert to multi-use medium rise, say six to seven floor flat. Anticipating monopoly on land development, the CDA also did not develop a private developer investment framework or building guideline. As a result, Islamabad became a locus of prime real estate by the 1990s. Although later, it did outline a comprehensive framework called the procedures and modalities for the development of private housing, farm housing schemes in Islamabad Capital Territory Zoning Plan for Zones 2, 5 and E11 initially and parts of Zone 4 later. But the developers complain of lengthy and cumbersome procedures. They may be onto something because it takes CD an average of two and a half years to grant a no objection certificate. Once they took nine and a half years to approve a request. It isn't surprising then that the authority has only issued 22 NOCs and 24 letters of permission in the last 30 years. The developers also don't shy away from gaming the system. They are notorious for overselling plots, fictitious land ownership records and delaying development work. Besides government departments, agencies and universities have used cooperative society law to develop land sporadically and haphazardly for decades. A 2017 audit found CDS involvement in the issue of NOCs on fake and fictitious documentation and cancellation of NOCs even after a notice from the National Accountability Bureau. It also found a lack of action against delayed work, not obtaining bank guarantees and undue benefits extended to sponsors. The audit report particularly mentioned zones 2, 4 and 5. Now the total area of these three zones is 1,352,360 canal. The housing societies obtained NOCs for an area of 91,611 canal only which is 6.8% of the area. This means that the remaining 1.26 million canals or 93.2% of the total area is illegal. The illegal land is sold by land grabbers under the name of different illegal societies. People have lost about 5.2 trillion rupees. Housing societies and land development remain a scam in Pakistan largely because regulators and administrators benefit from this approach with free plot to the powerful. In return, the gifting of plots leads to the capture of regulation and other agencies of governance. It is time we deeply reviewed our urban development models, freeing them from scams and wasteful activities, time-wise and land-wise. This is Usman Ahmad for Dawn News English, Islamabad.